Paul. Next here tonight, the bullet fired right into this church preschool full of kids. And at this hour tonight, urgent questions remain. Who fired this shot and why and where did it come from? Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Ryan Smith speaking with the Reverend who put the St. Petersburg Church on lockdown. And tonight, the active manhunt still for the shooter. While St. Pete investigators track where exactly the bullet came from, we know it went right over this fence protecting the church's playground, hitting a window with several two-year-olds on the other side. Tonight, detectives are working to figure out if a shooter targeted Allendale United Methodist Church, 11 toddlers inside, along with several staff members. Our number one job, of course, is to keep children safe. Um, and uh, thankfully no one was hurt today. While police say this could have been a stray bullet fired from several streets away, Reverend Andy Oliver says his church has been targeted in the past. Allendale feels a call to stand with those who are marginalized and oppressed. The St. Pete Church has made headlines for breaking away from traditional restrictions, performing same-sex weddings. Last year, someone threw a brick through their sign. We stand with communities where they face this type of violence every single day of their lives, um, especially people of color and um, people in the Muslim community and Jewish community that walk around with targets on them. While tonight's shooting scare is still under investigation, Oliver plans to make a renewed push for preventing gun violence violence during Sunday's sermon. We'll definitely be talking about uh, keeping our children safe, uh, keeping ourselves safe, uh, but also the, the safety that all people deserve, uh, no matter where they live, work or play. In St. Pete, Ryan Smith, ABC Action News.